Hi everyone. Today we will learn about means of transportation. In ancient times, boats, bullock carts and then horse-driven carriages were the only means of transportation. But nowadays, quicker means of transportation have been developed. The different modes of transportation can be divided into three main categories. Land transportation, water transportation, and air transportation. Let's first study about land transportation. It is the transportation of goods or passengers on roads. Here is a bicycle. It has two wheels and we can move it by using these pedals. Here is the motorcycle. It also has two wheels, but they are powered by a motor. A motorbike will whiz you around the city much faster than a bicycle. But don't forget to wear a helmet. This is a scooter. It is also powered by a motor. Two-wheelers like bikes and scooters etc are usually used for short distances. This is a car. It has four wheels and can fit your family. Here is a van. It's similar to the car but the trunk is much bigger and you can fill it up with things. This is a bus. Buses are an important mode of transportation. Almost all states in a country have their bus services and thousands of people travel on them. This is a truck. Trucks are used for covering long distances and they carry heavy loads. This is a train. The train carries people over long distances. It's tooled by a locomotive and connected with wagons. It needs tracks to ride and pick up speed. It can go really fast. Water transportation. Water transportation is the transportation of goods or passengers on bodies of water. It's also the cheapest and oldest mode of transportation. Here is a boat. A boat is mostly used in shallow water. The boats are used for short distances. Wow, this is a ship. Ships are used for covering large distances. Cargo ships like oil tankers and freighters are used for transportation of goods like oil, cars and food items. Motorboats are small and are mostly pumped with air. They have a small motor and are quite light. They can be used in rescues. Canoes are long and can fit very few people. You can move it along using the paddles. Careful, don't fall off. Sailboats are boats that move thanks to the wind in their sails. Pirates used to travel in these. Jet ski. Jet ski is used to move very fast around the coast. It can fit one or two people. What about deeper down in the sea? Hmm, we have submarines. See, it can travel underwater for months. This is a cruise ship. They are the bigger boats. They can travel very long distances. They usually transport goods and people. Air transportation. Air transportation is the transportation of goods or passengers by air. This is a plane. It's really a big one. It has been designed to travel long distances. Today, almost all nations of the earth are interconnected by air transportation. We can go from one country to another country in very less time. 
shorter distances can be covered with helicopters. Helicopter is small and it can fly lower and closer to the ground. It is able to fly because of its propeller. Wow, look, here some people are flying on hot air balloon. Hot air balloons are used for traveling to short distances. It uses gas that helps it to fly. And last but not the least is the rocket. These are designed to fly outside the Earth's atmosphere. Astronauts use them to go to the moon and to travel to the space. Which was your favorite transport? If you wish to watch more videos, please subscribe to Fun Learning for Kids with SJ. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.